Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this is a reading for Leo for the week of June 11th through the 18th. This is for the sign of Leo. Generally, my readings are love readings, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to get one of these oracle cards and one of these, and if it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we will reveal it at the end. Keep in mind, this may not resonate with you because there's no way that I can connect with every single person. For the person that begged for the reading, I ain't doing this reading for you. This reading ain't for you. Patience. Impulsiveness gets you nowhere. It gets you in trouble. That's what impulsiveness does. What does Leo need to know for the week of June 11th through the 18th? hurt suffering five of cups this is usually a breakup card okay you could be disappointed over a breakup there could be a breakup on the horizon I do apologize it's not how I want to start out a reading with the five of cups okay so you know the five of cups is very there's loss there's regrets there's a difficulty in a relationship which you know could have ended in a breakup somebody is still concentrating on the loss when there is probably a new opportunity that they can't even see or they don't want to see because they're still focused on the emotional loss that they've just gone through or they're about to go through oh gosh there's a lot of conflicts okay there's changes going on too five 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 Okay, somebody is, you know, going through a major change right now, and it's making them feel conflicted, and I do apologize for giving you this message, but I have to tell you that there is a new opportunity for you. There's a new, oppor there's a new opportunity for love. Okay, there is. There's a new prospect that you might not even see. So this difficult period that you're going through, it will end, and the light will come back out. Okay, this, it will end. And there's probably some communication uh, coming through, and whatever communication this is, it's probably true, okay? There's probably some truth being revealed. It may not be what you want to hear, okay? It may break, like, I, it's going to be conflicting. It's going to make you feel conflicted. This is pro you're probably receiving a message that isn't what you want to hear, and it could be coming from my voice right now, okay? Or it's coming from somebody else. I don't know. But I, you could be receiving some sort of word or message that it isn't, it isn't um, desirable. Okay? And you may be trying to move too fast. The page of sword move, swords moves too fast. And like I, it's funny. I start these readings out and they all, with words before our cards comes out. That's called channeling. Somebody has acted impulsively and now they could be disappointed by what really happened here because they acted impulsively, okay? It's brought some difficulties into your life and now you're probably having to face the truth. 
but I do see that some sort of difficult time in your life is going to come to an end. Okay, it is. The light is going to come back out. Yeah, there's somebody isn't feeling content at all. They are not. Um, but I have to tell you, there's still there's there's another opportunity for you, and you don't even know it. There is. There's an opportunity for love here, and you probably don't even see it because you're still concentrated on the loss, or you're not re really looking for that partnership. But the fact of the matter is, there is an opportunity for a new love here. There is. I know that there is. Another five, 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 five. <laughs> Major life choices, major life changes. That's what's going on right now. You have some instability in your life that is, is changing your path, okay? And that is the way it is, you know? But whatever's happening is that you need to be patient. The five of wands reverse is patience is needed, okay? Patience is needed. You may be reluctant to start a new relationship or to even look for love, but it's it's coming. It's around. It's, it's It is. You know, you've been through some sort of betrayal, okay, with the Ten of Swords. Something has ended. It probably ended, or it's ending, that, what, it probably ending pretty harshly, okay? There's, but you may feel like you're defeated and you don't want to get into a commitment again. I don't know what this is, but there is an opportunity for love here. There is. New love. If you would stop focusing on this emotional disappointment, there's major changes here. Okay, there is. There's major changes based on the choices that you make. I mean, the 555, five, five, changes in choices, major ones. Major life changes when you see 555. Five, five. Expect the unexpected, 555. Five, five. Okay? Something is happening that is changing your life for the better. And that is what's going on here. But you may not see it. You may feel like this is a run of bad luck, that I'm not moving forward. You know, you may have this feeling of despair. You, I mean, you may. But the fact of the matter is, is it's, it is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. But I don't think you're seeing it as that. Okay, I don't. I feel as though you were involved in a situation that wasn't destined to be. And you're probably still holding on to it. And I apologize, but I have to tell you what I see. Okay? You could have been involved in a third party situation. I'm not sure. But whatever is going on here, there's been a lack of happiness for a little while. Okay. There was probably, there definitely was a three way celebration that wasn't what you were looking for. Okay. Now, three way doesn't have to be sexual. It can be three's a crowd. You know, it could be anything when there's another person involved in your life that shouldn't be there. Okay. Involved in your relationship that shouldn't be there. That's what a thir third party is, whether it's sexual or not. There's a third party situation that has caused a lot of uh, hurt and rejection and um, lack of happiness in your life. And it feels as though now you feel betrayed by this, whatever it is that happened. Okay? Nothing to rejoice about. And that's how you're feeling. You're feeling very conflicted with this situation with with these two people okay there's two other people involved and you're feeling like wow i have totally been betrayed and deceived you know and this is you're probably receiving this communication or you have received this communication and it's damn hard to accept this change it is and it may have happened very unexpectedly or it's going to happen unexpectedly five 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 Okay. You know, you the magician reverse, somebody probably had some tricks up their sleeve. You know, you're dealing with somebody who is very cunning, very deceptive and crafty, and they're a trickster and they have the all the means within them to manipulate you into believing whatever they want you to believe. Okay? And now they have the truth has probably come out with this ace of swords because that you feel betrayed. And you're, you're, you, you are forced to make these changes whether you like it or not. That's the way it looks like to me, you know. And it could, it could be very, very unwelcome, which I do believe it is.
Then when I looked at the clock, it was 9.55. Imagine that. Closing a door unexpectedly. Nines are closure. Five, when I looked at the clock right there to zoom it in, it was 9.55. You were closing a door unexpectedly. So either that has happened in the past and you haven't healed from it. Oh my goodness. Nine of cups reversed. A door. A closure. A closure to something that at one time you probably thought was wish fulfillment. But, you know, oh my goodness, I really need to have a good love reading. Please, dear God, angels, and spirit. Um, somebody, had pride and ego has gotten in the way. The, fe the rejection is one of the things that keeps you tied. The fact that you are rejected, that's pride, that's ego, okay? You know, so I feel as though at this point you're probably not interested in, in being in love because of this unexpected change but you're you still have desires but you're still holding on you're still holding on to the to the hurt and the betrayal that you've had from another person which is interesting there's a lack of wish fulfillment here yeah there's been some sort of end of a contract the lover's card reversed there has some sort of union has probably broken apart or it is breaking apart and it could be happening very unexpectedly. The lovers this is an unexpected choice and the 555 unexpected choice. I think a door has closed for you and you're probably reluctant to move on, but there is a new opportunity for love that I don't think that you even can fathom at this point. So you may be, you know, not seeing it or not wanting it, but I do think that there is another opportunity. Um, but right now things are too chaotic and out of control in your life and you're probably angry. You're probably angry and you've lost your focus and your concentration because of this contract that has come to an end. This door that is closed. And now you fear sacrificing yourself to anybody else. I don't want to get involved with a false foundation again. I just want to a folk, I'm going to stay stuck and protect myself from future love by not committing to another relationship because I'm, I'm, I'm defeated at this time. Some of you are, are, have been rejected. This, remember I was saying it up here, but this is being rejected and that's pride. The, the pride of rejection, the six of coins is reverse, is rejecting rejection. So yeah, I think some of you are probably, um, You've been rejected, and therefore you're rejecting. You know, when you're, re and that is how it goes, it really is. So there could be a new opportunity for love that you're not even wanting or seeing or being open to because, and I'm talking love, because of this past hurt, betrayal, um, conflicts. You're going through some major life changes, remember? I told you that. Things are happening quickly. They're happen happening unexpectedly. And I feel as though... You know, you didn't get what you deserved from this person anyway. They brought some conflicts into your life. And you really need to not sacrifice yourself in anger to this person anymore. It's like, if you let that consume you, they're still in control. You know what I mean? Uh, it's time to, uh, you know, I think you do have a new partner. And I think it's sexual. And I think maybe that's what you're involved in right now. Maybe you just, maybe you are just interested in um, passion at this point, but not a long-term relationship because of this betrayal that you've been in. And that's kind of what it looks like to me. I feel like right now you're probably rejecting all offers of commitment because of this hurt that you haven't completely healed from. So I feel as though there's a new opportunity for... A new sexual partner. And there's probably a new opportunity for a new love. But I don't think that you're willing to entertain that. Because you, you're, you're, still, you're still hurting over an unexpected breakup of some sort. Or you're considering breaking up. Or somebody's going to break up with you. Or I don't know what this is. But there is some sort of split here. And a door that, that is closing. And there's some rejection. And I think there's rejection that has happened to you. Therefore, you're rejecting. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, shit rolls downhill. And that's what's going on here. Um, that's what it looks like to me. So I feel like there's a, a, you know, 
There's been a manipulative energy here, and at this point, you're probably not wanting anything stable and secure. And I'm sorry to say that because you're you're still dealing with the conflict of the past. So you may have a new sexual partner on the horizon that you would entertain, but that's all that I see. I don't see anything leading to um, a solid commitment. I don't. So that's what I see. I mean, I, I don't think I need to go any further. I think there's undesirable news that has come in or is coming in that probably changes your life drastically. Five, five, five. Perception, it is. It's all about your perception. And like I said, shit rolls downhill. You have to change your perception if you want love. And right now, I feel like right now, you might not want it. Because you've been through some sort of defeat and betrayal with that Ten of Swords. Something has ended. The Ten of Swords is a an ending that has hurt. A hurtful ending. Okay? And your life changes with perception. And right now, I believe that... You are still suffering from this hurt. And when your perception changes, you may be open to love. But right now, I'm not sure that's the case. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. If you want it, you have to change your perception. So anyway, I feel like there has been some sort of unexpected change that has probably closed you off a little bit. From actual love, but as far as a new sexual partner, that could be on the horizon. Talk to you later.